Hey there, this is Todd with Industrial Comfort. And today's the Boston edition, where out of respect for the local New England lobstermen, I'm going to show you how to make one of these vintage style decorative lobster buoys from a piece of 4x4. Four four. I'm also doing it for my father-in-law, who is a fellow Bostonian, can't pronounce his eyes. So I just thought it would be a lot easier for him to be able to watch this. So let me show you how to make one of these things. you want to choose a location you're comfortable with and use a Forstner bit or you could really use a paddle bit whatever you want drill an inch in diameter hole through the top here which you're going to use to feed your rope later now comes my least favorite part of this project which is painting I don't I just don't like to paint but you're gonna paint this whatever color you choose here is going to be your base so when you sand off the paint in the sanding stage, you're gonna sand down to this layer. So I chose white and you know, it, it's fine. You can choose whatever colors you want to go on top of this. I just use painter's tape to mark out, you know, where you're gonna want your stripes and your designs. Uh, I chose yellow and green. I, I don't even know why really. I should have chose colors for the Patriots. Um, you know, I don't know. So just choose whatever you want. For the number part, I ended up printing off numbers in a font that I liked, and then I used a graphite pencil to put pencil marks all behind the numbers. That way, I'm going to trace the outline of the numbers here, and it's going to leave an impression under the paper when I take it off, and then I'm going to use a Sharpie to fill it in. Now is the fun part. Just sand until you get the desired finish that you like. And finally, just grab some extra rope you got laying around, feed it through the hole, tie it into a knot, and you got a boss buoy. This buoy came out wicked pisser. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe.